Hey guys, welcome to At The Back Door. I'm your host, Evan Van Lista, and in this episode, we will be joined by Reverend CJ. He is a priest within the LGBTQ plus church, and we will navigate through his journey as a man of God. And we would also talk about the acceptance within the religion. to At The Back Door. I'm joined by Reverend CJ. He is a priest within the LGBTS Church. So Reverend, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? I'm the founding pastor of the LGBTS Church uh, in the Philippines. The LGBTS, uh, before it was uh, defined as the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and straight. We put the straight you know, to be more inclusive. But now we rename the LGBTS into Let God Be Thy Savior to be more inclusive and not exclusive before the LGBTQIA plus community. Start yun. Uh, actually, uh, I'm part of the. I'm the founding pastor of the Metropolitan Community Church of Quezon City, and then um, we became independent and we renamed the church into the LGBT Christian Church in 2012. We became a safe space for the LGBTQIA plus community in the Philippines, as you know, as a church, a home church for everybody. Um, is this the only church that does this? Or marami pa ngayon? Marami naman kami. Actually, most of us, the the free churches na marami ngayon is uh, most of us ka, galing sa Metropolitan Community Church, which uh, Father Richard McLeod brought in in 1991. Yun nga, unfortunately, he died recently. Siya yung nag-minister sa amin talaga dito sa Philippines. Actually, kami mga anak na na lang nun eh. Mm. I think pang third generation ako. Mm. sa ministry na ginawa ni Father Richard dito sa Pilipinas. Ang tagal na din pala. No? Tagal na. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, nag-come out lang kami talaga as a church parang 2000, 2011. Oh. During the time na nagkaroon ng Baguio, uh, Baguio Mass Wedding na nadyaro and then nasita kami nila Bishop Pakani. Yung tinawag kami Kadiri, nagkaroon ng ingay patungkol sa there is a church for the LGBTQIA mm-hmm. in the Philippines. Um, can you define kung ano yung religion now for this generation? What the generation now is uh, secular morality. Actually, may morality ang secular. Ibig sabihin, kahit wala kang religion, you could be a good person kahit mm-hmm. wala kang religion. Actually, yun yung secular morality. May mga tao hindi nagpupunta sa simbahan, pero they're good. Pero may mga tao na sa simbahan, mm-hmm. they're bad. Pope Francis says that there are bad Catholics than good it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sinabi niya yun. Yeah. Actually, totoo naman. May mga taong, kahit hindi nagsisimba mabuti, pero may mga taong nagsisimba, mm-hmm. puro marites ang niya uh, <laughs> sa buhay. May mga marites siya. <laughs> <laughs> Ako, feeling ko naman walang masama dyan sa sexual morality. Mm-hmm. As long as you do good to others. Actually, yun, yun naman ultimately ang ginagawa ng religion natin. In all religions, not even, even Islam, even Buddhism, even Christianity and Judaism, syempre, ang importante dyan yung maging mabuti ka yeah. no, sa, sa tao. Actually, what's the difference between mabuti and mabait? Lahat ng kaibigan mo mabait, pero hindi lahat mabuti. Mm-hmm. ba? So, yeah. ang, what we need in, in our society is maging mabuti sa lahat. No? Kahit hindi sila mabuti sa'yo, basta mabuti ka. Mm-hmm. Sobrang refreshing. Sobrang nakaka-validate. <laughs> Nabanggit nyo po kanina na may mga um, struggles kayo, especially nung nag-come out kayo as a church. So, hindi lang pala isang tao yung nag-come out, pati din pala yung simbahan. I feel like na sobrang hirap nung time na yon. What was it like? Ah, of course, tawagin ka Kadiri ng hmm. isang obispo, uh, the famous Bishop Bakani. Kadiri kami kapag hindi ka kaayon dun sa inyong pinapanawalaan. The church was created, actually was created primarily because to have a safe space for the LGBT. Kasi mm-hmm. ang problema sa traditional churches, eh, they close their doors to the LGBT. And then they will tell to the LGBT, ah, you're so sinner, you will go to hell because the Bible says, Pero masabak ko lang, hindi mo nagbabasa ng Biblia, naniniwala, di ba? Pero ang sinasabi namin, 
hindi totoo yung mga sinasabi ng mga traditional churches that we are condemned already because we're gay. Nasabi namin, kahit kayo gay, okay kayo maging gay at Christian at the same time. Kasi hindi naman tinitingnan ni Lord kung ano yung gender mo. Ang tinitingnan niya kung ano yung relasyon mo sa kapwa mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. And that's the ultimate teaching ni Jesus, no? love God and love thy neighbor. So, walang masama maging bakla. Ang masama kung mapanghusga ka sa kapwa mo dun sa pagiging bakla niya, di ba? Pero yung pagiging bakla, hindi yan masama. Nagka-struggle ba kayo personally? Like, dinout nyo po ba yung ginagawa nyo? Or never kayo nagka-doubt? Minsan sasabihin ko nga eh, ano bang ginagawa ko para dito? What for? ba? Diba? Pero kasi I'm looking for a church that is inclusive eh. Sabi ko, pwede naman siguro kami-kami magsama-sama, magdasal, manambahan, magpuri sa Panginoon, being gay and being Christian at the same time. So okay naman sabi ko, dinaretso na namin yung ministry. Mahirap po ba um, to choose this path knowing that you were gay? That you were gay? Mahirap. Mahirap sa isang malupit at mapanghusgang mundo. Mm. Oh, gracious Lord, tinawag na akong demonyo. Mm. Tinawag na akong anak na satanas. Tinawag na akong baboy. Ganda ko ito. Tinawag akong baboy. Sabi. So, mar- mar- maraming ganong panghusga. Pero hindi. Kasi you have, we have to have a church for the LGBT. Otherwise, dalawa mangyayari niya. Hindi na sila pupunta ng simbahan or hindi sila maniniwala sa Diyos. Yun ang hinahabol natin. It's okay to be gay and Christian at the same time. Okay, let's pause the video. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but I just have to tell you about this amazing product called P-Cloud. Did you know that I always have so many pictures on my phone and way too many files on my laptop? Everything around me is running out of space. Then, I found P-Cloud. I can now store all of my files, photos, and music into my P-Cloud. The cool thing about P-Cloud is it's cheap, efficient, and I don't have to worry about anyone hacking into my account because the cloud storage is impenetrable. It is the most efficient cloud service out there. In P-Cloud, I can organize all of my files and have them synced directly from my phone. I can even give my friends access to the files and invite them to. So check out the links down below and let's go back to the video. Meron po bang mga other priests sa, dito sa Pilipinas or even worldwide na katulad po ng um, advocacy niyo? Actually, sa Pilipinas, marami na kami na nag-advocate for equality, marriage equality in the Philippines. O kaya, mga itinatawag natin affirming churches. No? Mm. Pero very small kami, mga maliliit na churches or free churches. But inside actually the traditional churches, Actually, may mga, may mga sa loob din ng simbahan na nagkikipaglaban, sa loob ng kanilang denomination. No? Alimbawa, ang United Church of Christ in the Philippines, nagkaroon na sila ng statement patungkol dun sa pagiging accepting sa LGBT. Ang Iglesia Filipina Independiente, nagkaroon na rin sila ng official statement com- coming from the Council of Bishops mismo. So, yung iba mga churches. Now, inside the United Methodist Church, malaki din yung fight within the church. And of course, the Roman Catholic Church. Marami kami, pero hindi ganun ka, ano, ka, kalakas pa. Pagbabago ng kultura, it will take some time. Mm-hmm. Hundred years, mm-hmm. no? So, hindi siya overnight. Pero thanks to the, you know, the modern era, yung information mabilis na, no? Sa, sa social media, yan na rin ang ginagamit. So, I hope and pray, no? After 10 or 20 years, magbago ang lipunan. Yung mga priest po na nabanggit nyo, Uh, or churches, um, sang ayon din po ba sila sa marriage equality? Kasi um, pinaglalaban nila yung marriage um, legally lang, hindi uh, yung, um, sa church. Hindi pa. There's a difference between acceptance and affirmation. Usually kasi pag sabi mo affirm, ay ano, uh, acceptance, tinatanggap mo, pero meron pang ifs and buts yun. Mm-hmm. Pero yung affirmation kasi mas maganda. Tinatanggap mo siya ng buong-buo, walang pagtatangi, walang panghusga, kasi ina-affirm mo siya. That's what happened to the, uh, to the United Church of Christ in the Philippines statement. Kasi when I asked, maganda yung statement, but when I asked them, are you in favor for marriage equality? Mm. Ibang usapan daw yan. O sabi ko, what's wrong with marriage equality ko yung na-accept mo? Iba daw usapan. I don't know kung bakit nagkaroon ng ibang usapan patungkol sa ina-accept mo, pero hindi ka mag-bless. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Kasi hindi pa nga legal. Kung hindi nga legal, bakit hindi ka mag-bless kahit sa simbahan lang? ba? Diba? Yun naman ang habol kong tutusin ng couple. Eh. Kaya nga kami, ang dami namin kinakasal. Eh. Alam nila na hindi pa legal sa Pilipinas dahil wala pa legal. But, but you know, more than 5,000 ang kinasal ko. Ako pa lang. Yung iba mga churches, marami na rin. Yung mga small churches, ba? Diba? At ang daming gusto magpakasal. 
Are they after for the legality? No, they're after for the blessing actually. Mm-hmm. Ng kanilang relationship, di ba? It will take some time. Pero sila, gusto na nilang ma-bless ng kanilang ano, ng kanilang relationship. Laging sila sabi, di ba? Put God at the center of your lives. They're doing it. Mm-hmm. No? Para maging strong mm-hmm. relationship. Against all odds. Yeah, kaya bakit hindi mag-open ang simbahan? Kahit okay. hindi palito. Kailan daw mag-open ang, sim- ang simbahan? Kapag ready na daw ang Pilipinas. Kailan magiging ready ang Pilipinas? Bukas, sa isang taon, mm-hmm. sa 10 years. You know, sabi lagi ng advocacy ng mga activists, now is the right time. And this is the best argument I will always tell them sa mga Christians na nagsasara sa LGBT. The Bible is not about hate. The Bible is about love and love alone. So let's talk, let's talk about our similarity, hindi yung differences. Diba? So, na-mention niyo po kanina na nag-officiate po kayo ng 5,000 na weddings. Grabe, sobrang dami. So, what does it mean to you na you officiate LGBT weddings? Mm, masarap naman ang feeling na, na nakakapag-minister ka sa community mismo na naghahanap ng isang simbahan na walang magtatangi, walang manghuhusga mm-hmm. sa kanila, di ba? So, masarap ang feeling na nagbe-minister sa community mismo. And sa couple po, what do you think it means to them? Malaking tulong yan kasi bibigyan at nabibigyan sila ng blessing no? sa isang ritual na tinatawag natin Holy Union Rice. Malaking tulong sa kanila yan. Matters for them. Mm-hmm. Even though they don't, eh, you know, hindi may register sa PSA kasi hindi pa legal, pero okay lang sa kanila yan. Kasi kahit hindi pa pala na na nare-register sa PSA. Yung ibang couple, nagagamit nila yung Certificate of Holy Union sa mga bansang merong marriage equality. Ah. Like US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, sa Europe. Yung iba naman sa insurance, no? Ang pro-life UK, kinikilala na yung same sex as beneficiary. Mm-hmm. Kasi dati, ang pwede mo lang ilagay na beneficiary sa insurance, first family kin, magulang kapatid. Ngayon, pwede na yung partner mo. So, ang treatment na is family na rin. And the third, nagagamit nila sa bangko kahit hindi pa legal. So sa mga um, nanonood dito, I think sobrang um, nabibigyan sila ng hope. May tumatanggap pala sa kanila yeah. na they can also live out their wedding fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Uh-huh. Kung may mga tao po dito who wants to um, attend po yung mga misa niyo, meron po ba kayong... Wala pa kayong physical church kasi uh, yung house church namin, yung house namin, ginawa namin yung house church. Mm-hmm. Papatay pa kami ng physical church sa may antipolo. But we do the online worship para sa lahat ng mga gustong umatay. Every 6.30 PM Sunday. Uh, sa asam po yun? Facebook po? Uh, Facebook, sa uh, Facebook page ng LGBTS Christian Church Philippines. And uh, sa YouTube ko, sa Rev CJ TV. And sa TikTok ko rin. Actually, yung ganyang way, di ba? Paunti-unti, eventually, they will understand us. Yeah. Thank you so, so much po. Ayan po, yung lahat po ng mga links na nabanggit niya nasa um, link down below po yan. Ay, check out yun na lang yan at atin din po ako ng online worship niyo po. Thank you so, so much. Sobrang refreshing, sobrang validating ng usapan po natin ngayon. And thank you, thank you so, so much. And I'm sure yung buong LGBT community and even mga straight allies, they're also thanking you for being here in this video. Thank you. You're welcome. Mabuhay. <laughs> Ayan guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe din kayo. Also click that notification bell and mag-comment kayo if you have any questions kay Rev CJ sa akin. Ayan, comment niyo lang yan down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Finger heart. Pero ngayon, sa social media ang bilis ng information. Sa TikTok lalo, my Mm-mm. god, meron akong ano daw mga 1 1 million views. Wow. 750 non-bashers. <laughs> 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 Is it a diagram?